Let's talk about here. Mm. Could we see more snow in this year and maybe next week? Or It's more like in the next two to two and a half weeks. Mm. So we're going to take a look at that in the long range forecast. As far as this weekend plans go, whatever you have uh, coming your way, uh, we're going to come through with a really excellent forecast on your Saturday and Sunday. So let's start it off with the one thing we have been following. You know, for a lot of us today, it really hasn't been that gusty, but we're still looking at some isolated wind gusts as we roll through this evening. We've seen most of the wind right up towards Marin, Napa, Sonoma counties in the mountains. I still think wind gusts of 20 to 40 tonight, at least in the higher elevations, lower elevations, anywhere from 10 to about uh, 29 miles per hour. It's a quick burst here, some wind. We do expect that wind to calm down as we roll through tomorrow's forecast, again, setting us up with a nice weekend. We're going to take you through that weekend forecast, but I want to just back things up here a little bit into what we're experiencing right now. We know it's Friday night. A lot of you had a long week. You're ready to head out and catch up with family and friends. Temperatures here in the chilly 50s in San Francisco right now, 52. We stay with that through this evening with mostly clear skies. Uh, near the bay, we're seeing numbers slightly warmer, but overall cold, 59. We're down to 53 here at 8 p.m. And for the inland valleys, we're hanging on to some 60s after temperatures in the upper 60s uh, today. We're down to 63 right now, but look, we're dropping off quick. By 7 p.m., we're right there at 54. So have an awesome time tonight. Now, as far as uh, this weekend forecast goes, we're going to be sandwiched in between two different systems. So the area of low pressure that brought in a little bit of wind today and those cold morning temperatures that continues off towards the south. And then we're also going to see this area high pressure building in just north of us. That'll give us the dry weather and also the sunshine. So Saturday and Sunday shaping up good if you can just get over this chilly start. So how cold is it going to go? Pretty similar to this morning. You get out towards the Tri Valley in Livermore. We're going to be down to some of our coldest numbers at 35. And for the South Bay, have you at 41. Over to the East Bay, 38. San Francisco, 44. And the North Bay at 35. But look, this cold weather is not going to linger too long tomorrow. As that sun continues to rise, temperatures are going to be warming up and pretty fast. So down here through the South Bay, a nice rebound, as I've been saying. 69 in Morgan Hill, 68 right there in San Jose. Let's move it over to Contra Costa Alameda County, 68 in Antioch, 67 in Walnut Creek, Hayward, 65. Peninsula, I have it at 65 in San Mateo and 66 in Palo Alto. San Francisco, 64 in downtown and more of those 60s here from Mill Valley right up to Ukiah. So sunshine is awesome for whatever you got planned this weekend. But we all know how desperately we still need more rainfall. I wanted to show you how things are looking. Unfortunately, next week, the storm system that originally looked like it could bring us some rain chances is going to be staying off to the north. So right now I'm seeing about a 65% chance. I'm calling it from November the 30th into December 6th that we get some rainfall returning right now. It looks like the potential for a moderate storm. So more updates as we continue La Nina. That's also with us. So this is going to bring more of those weather extremes as we continue through our winter months right here on the seven day forecast planning for Thanksgiving already. And why not? Temps will be in the 60s and through the inland valleys. More of those 60s into next week.